so on the following video I'm going to take you through the steps of how uh, we prepare the images to put into InDesign. So away we go. Here is our main character, the King Vulture. Now in our layout he's the other way round so we might as well flip him while we're here. There we go. Quite simple. First thing we need to do is make it a grayscale image. So discard all the colour. This is an important part. What we need to do is check if the black background is 100% black. Because if, we, if it isn't, you could have some blotches on the final print. So, over here is our info panel. And you'll see there we have K, which tells you how much black is in. And when you're on your eyedropper tool, you can hover over and you can see here that that's reading 100%. Now if I was to go over like the eye or any light areas you can see the percentage is very minimal. And what we want to double check is that there isn't any rogue sections where it isn't 100% black. This often happens around the edges. You can see there it says 96. If I go under here it's going down to 93. So we need to address that. Another top tip for looking if there's any marks is just to invert the image you can sometimes see better the image in this case isn't pure white you can see there we've got two percent black invert it back what we need to do is go to image adjustments levels then within here click the black pipette and then we can adjust the black and wherever you click it will make it 100% black so if I click here well here it's not going to do much but if I was to instant for instance click on this area it will make that black and as you go over you can see how it changes I'm just going to reset that because we don't want to change it that dramatically so I'm going to take a bit here click and that has changed you can see on the info what it was and what it is now. So it was 96 and now it's 100. So you can just go around the image and just double check areas to make sure it has changed. If your image has changed dramatically you can go in and tweak these levels. But I was quite happy with the auto what we got from the pipette so I'm going to leave it at that. So Once again click the black, click on there and there we have our image. So I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to save this as a King Vulture Grey Scale. I'm going to save it as a TIFF. Save. And that's it. <laughs>